Crystal with the McConnell ITT, and if you didn't know, we have Flower Shop. And I'm going to show you how we go about getting roses and mums ready to be put in an arrangement. So, with roses, you actually have to dethorn them. And I left my little, my little cleaner, so give me two seconds and I'll move that little one. Got okay, got the dethorner. So we use this. I don't know what it is, but it, you take it and it takes off all your thorns and leaves. And let it swipe. And then we cut them. Now I know at home you probably won't have the fancy little plastic thing. So you could always go through and you could pick them up. You don't want any of the leaves in the bucket. That'll cause bacteria, cause your roses to rot. And you want to cut at an angle, brings in the biggest stem for more water, and then you put them in. You want to take off an inch or so, not you know, depending on how much you want to take off. You can also cut all of these off if you wanted. You don't want to peel them and take a chance of a splinter or thorn. Same with cutting off the thorns if you don't want them to get you or catch on your arrangement as they go in. In about a half an inch, put them in. They also come. If you buy them from the store, they'll come with these leaves. They're kind of ugly. They're made to the guard petals. They're made to keep the pretty petals pretty. So you cut those off. And then you have a pretty rose. So mums, a little bit easier. They're not as thorny, they're not as leafy. But you would want to pick off the extra leaves. So they're not in your bucket or in your vase. And the same idea, about an inch or so off. And ours come in these little netting, which keep their little buds safe. Peel those off, put them in your water. And if you want to make sure that your water kind of stays clean longer, get a little packet of floral, design, I guess, arrangement, white stuff, you can send pumps and all the things. Just put a little bit in your water. It kills bacteria. That's what it does. Doesn't extend the life, it just keeps them from getting bacteria. So that's all there is to it. So we're going to have some leather in there, you can't really mess up the leather, but it's your base, so without the right amount of leather, your whole thing will just kind of fall apart. So, I like to give it a little brace in the back, if this one's going to be kind of a up, straight up type, so we've got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my filler in it so that I have lots of stability. This arrangement. So this will be a simple, you know, just a few roses, a couple roses, a couple other flowers. Then the general rule of thumb is you want your arrangement to be somewhere in the midst of two two and a half bigger than your base, times bigger. So, generally what we're going for, all right, just gonna chop him off, all that in. Sometimes easier that way. It's kind of hard to pull it all out. What I'm finding is my base has a little bit of a bump in the bottom, so they're all a little bit higher than intended. So, we can fix some stuff over to the side. Turn that around for a second. Try to design that way. Take off some leaves. Something over here. Chrysanthemums and roses and rice flower. Yeah. Pretty flowers all together. How do you decide where to put your flowers? Um, I kind of just I'll hold them and I'll kind of see if I'll be like, okay, that might work, or if I need something down here. I think this one needs a little bit more height. So, um, I mean, it's a lot in the eye. Uh, sometimes it's kind of a 
triangle-ish shape. So you want your wires at the bottom and kind of taper towards the top. So I'll put some rice flour out also. I might just kind of look at it and decide what I think needs what. And then, before you know it, it's about done. This one needed a little bit of that up in the front. And I can take this guy and actually fill up. We don't want the back to be completely like nothing. So I like to put a little bit of something like this in the back. Got to peel off some of these because they're a little, a little wild. Just place them in there. It gives you a little bit towards the back. So you're not quite so like one-sided. Then just kind of look at it and decide if there's anything else it needs. I mean, I could always add a little piece of this in there if I wanted to bring some more height up. Which I might, because I have it, so I'm going to add it. I'm going to cut it a little lower, because then I can actually have two pieces left over. A little higher, I should say. And I'll, show, I'll put these into something later, little pieces. So, I felt like it needed a little bit of height. So, that there. Do this guy over here for some sides. Bring him out towards the front. I need to cut this off because it's just kind of in the way of my rice flour. And we got a few more leaves I have to cut off that are covering up flowers. I might do one more big old leather up in the back because I feel like it needs it. And I will probably call this one back. That's perfect. That looks so good.